Hi everyone and welcome to My Hair Education. My name is Jonathan. Today we're going to be looking at a very cool haircut, the taper fade. So with my client today, I'm going to be uh, using the clipper over comb technique to uh, start my baseline. And what I'm going to do after is that I'm going to use my uh, clipper guard 1.5 and number one to taper over the sides and the back. And I might, might finish it with a 0.5 to have a really clean taper fade going from shorter to longer to the baseline. And we're gonna keep maximum length, just give it a texture and maybe just take off a bit of the, uh, the ends to give it movement and have it from shorter to longer. All right, so stay tuned. Okay, so let's start with the uh, right side panel. We're gonna create our guideline. I'm gonna use about uh, two inches of my comb over here. So you can see the guide that I created. I'm going to follow it and be squared to the head shape going up. Also, the idea with the clipper over comb is to go up, up. Up. So let's continue through. I'm going to follow my guide that I created. I'm going to go in. My guide over here. So work about two inches. If you work all the way, you start losing control. So you want to stay at two inches long. So scooping in and out. So see, I'm going to go all the way up, 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 up. And by doing that, up, 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 you take out the bulk. If you stop over here, you'll have bulkiness. So let's continue through. Make sure to push it in and out. See my hair over here, my guide over here, and I'm just gonna clean that. I'm going to continue through uh, the uh, side area. We're still in the side over here. So my guide is here. You want to when you want to take weight off, you could just uh, stay on your comb and just move side to side. And you're going to see it right over here. I stay squared and I'm going to continue. So 
So we're going to do that. I'm going to come back and do this part here. So I'm going to continue. Let's uh, go back to the uh, back section over here and clean it up with our guide. And uh, I'm going to be using the, uh, starting with the 1.5, with a closed blade. So I'm closing my blade. Sorry, this is opening. And this is closing. I'm going to starting with this blade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start tapering. <coughs> to my, my baseline is right over here, so I'm going to start cleaning up. and tapering the fade. And don't worry too much about the bulkiness over here. We're going to clean it up at the end. So you want to go on the opposite way where the hair is growing, so on the opposite of the natural growth. So you want to flicker through. You still want to do it in a scooping motion going in and out. You don't want to go like too high. You still want to respect your baseline. Through my baseline. Baseline is starting, stopping here. So I want to go in and I want to stop. So I don't want to go too high. Then I'm losing that effect of the short to long taper fade. I want to flicker it over here. Just flicker it. Same thing. Next up, I'm going to be taking my number one guard with the open blade to start. As you can see, it's not taking out much, but I just want to make sure that all the little hairs are out. I'm going to close my blade and have a number one. So to close it. So 
So I'm flickering it through. I'm going to take my 0.5 uh, guard uh, with an open, open blade. So I'm going to clean his uh, outline. You got to take your time with the fades, you know, it's not a super fast uh, haircut. I'm going to close my blade. So when I go like a scooping motion in and out, I'm just flickering to clean up the outline. Just going to open my blade a bit, close it. So I'm really cleaning the outline. So uh, before I uh, blend in the, uh, the fade to the baseline a bit more, I'm going to clean uh, the outline with the, with the edger. So I'm just going to work it through the ear. Behind. Okay. So I like to keep it as natural as possible, so I'm just going to push it through my line. Okay. <coughs> so 
hold your head here. Thank you. So I'm going to blend in my fade a bit more with my clipper. So we're going to work it a bit over here and just go, go up. So you're going to push the hair in and out. So you want to blend it in by using your clipper over comb. This is called the fanning motion. It helps make the uh, transition. I'm going to cut it, um, I'm going to start from the front, cutting longer to shorter, so I, you want to check uh, my, the separation. And I'm going to take, take from here. So I'm going to maintain maximum length, so I'm just cutting really the, uh, the ends here. Just a bit more. So I'm going to follow through. And you can see it. I'm creating a shorter to longer effect. OK. 
Okay. I'm going to take my next section. I'm just gonna point cut it a bit here because I want to main I want to maintain length in the over here it's uh, the cowlick I don't want to make it spike. I'm gonna take my other section over here. Let me show you. Shorter to longer. I'm gonna go shorter. I'm going to start over directing this to the middle, to the previous section to maintain length. And voila. Interior guide. Okay. Over here. Take all this hair here. You won't have much to cut. I'm going to follow the same sectioning. And keep my length in the front going shorter to the back. And now I'm going to start over directing. Over here. And we're stuck. So same thing. So you can see it over here.
All right, so I'm going to go on the other side. My next section. I'm going to show you here. All right, you want to cut this part. So we go forward. Just want a point cut. So you're going to cut into the hair. You don't want to take off length. Take horizontal sections and point cut in. So I want to over direct the front because you want to maintain the length. Same thing. Just gonna cut a bit of the uh, the little ends here there. some texture. Okay. I'm just going to take off weight from the crown as well. The scissor over comb motion just to give it this last finishing touch. So I have wet, uh, I put some water on in, the, in the hair, so I'm gonna put some mousse to give it volume and uh, blow dry it <coughs> with a uh, fan brush. So the mousse, 
I'll apply it from the back, going to the front. As you can see, it's going from shorter to longer. <clears throat> we create our baseline all over and we follow through with a 0.5 to a 1.5, sorry, 0.5 to a 1 to a 1.5 and to a longer. And then I uh, blended it in with a clipper over comb at the end. So you can see the, uh, the taper fade all over. You could use that in the salon if you don't want to go too intense with a uh, skin fade. And I kept it uh, fairly longer in the front so we can have a uh, a lot of leverage to, to do uh, some uh, movement and um, have a uh, different looks. You could have it either up or to the sides. And uh, that's what's fun with this haircut, it's versatile. And here you go. So if you have any uh, comments, uh, questions, let us know. And please uh, subscribe to our uh, channel and uh, let us know what you think about the video. <laughs>